was yesterday, okay? So Cardi B made a surprise appearance and did her Shake It verse. Now, the star of that song, like I said, is that bass, okay? On that Shake It song, that bass. Do, 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 do. Oh! Or whatever it is, all right? Oh, that's the star of that song for me. So she came on, did a, did a verse. That bass always, always, always sends shivers down my spine. Uh, City, City Girls also performing. Uh, Chloe Bailey performed with Fabio Foreign. Okay, and rubbed her booty on his groin area just slightly. Okay, and the crowd went wild. So yeah, from what I can see, it was you know pretty, pretty, pretty fun. You know, it's summer. You know, outside in the sun. It looked pretty fun. Okay, but it's also fun sat indoors and going outside just to get the milk, uh, waiting for deliveries. All right, all right. Now let's move on to our next. Okay. So celebs love Nicki Minaj. Caption the video of Nicki making an entrance onto one of her concerts, right, from the back where no one could see her. And they said this is how to do a surprise entrance. The crowd was roaring for Nicki Minaj. Now I think that is in relation to the fact that Cardi did a surprise uh, appearance uh, at Summer Jam, okay. And she came in from the crowd, really, from... The crowd was right here, and they could see her running up to go on stage. So it wasn't a surprise at all, to, essentially. Wait for it. So these lot really be nitpicky AF. With this, with this uh, surprise appearance by Nikki here, it's it. Nobody could see her, darling. No one was around to see her. She just came in quietly from the back, and just strutted on stage like it was nothing, darling. That is how you do a surprise appearance. Not running through the crowd, everyone yelling, Cardi, Cardi, go, 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 Cardi, Cardi is here, go, go, go. And then you run on the, sh on the stage, darling. That is not a surprise. That is not anything surprise, all right. And, and how many times has she done a surprise uh, appearance at Summer Jam? Or, or, the hot, or the Hot 97 concert? She did that with Type Shit recently. She's done those kind of like, sort of like summer concert surprises. A few times now, like it's becoming expected, like she's gonna show up. Okay. Just say, just say. Let me stop. Let me stop, darling. Let me stop. Even my fans on on YouTube be begging me to love you. They be like, please, please. <laughs> All right, don't do this. I'd be like, don't worry, darling. I, I've got the keys to where we need to go. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. Don't worry. As I said, your loyalty is to me and to me only for a reason. Okay, for a reason. I pretty much don't trust a lot of people, so. And a lot of the shit I be saying is is true, isn't it? But y'all are so sweet, you know, when you be begging me to love her. Again, or love her. Did I love her before? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't love anyone unless I know them, darling. Okay. I don't love anyone unless I know them. Well, what are you people talking about? <laughs> okay, let's move on and see what next I want to talk about. So speaking of the recession, okay, uh, Cardi B was talking about her, you know, her finances and things like that on Twitter a couple of days ago, okay? Or just talking finances, talking about when the recession is coming in. Uh, we've got an article here by the International uh, News about it. So they write, Cardi B talks about managing, maintaining money. I'm determined. Um, they write, Cardi B takes to social media to share sage financial advice for fans wanting to attain financial freedom. So this is after she said uh, a couple of months ago that she doesn't have a clue what's in her effing bank account. I, I don't want it. I don't, want, I don't need the advice, darling. I don't need the advice. All right. Uh, I know every penny that's going on around it in that in my bank account, bank accounts around this bitch, every bill, every, every, every debt, darling. I know everything. I don't need advice from someone who says that they don't know what's in their bank account, darling. Who everybody else takes care of and everybody knows but them. That's what you said. But now she's switching, she's switching sides. It must be that Libra in her, darling. Ugh, you lot cannot be trusted in my experience. side darling y'all tend to be wishy-washy af in my experience 
Um, but, they, but, but, but they be latching onto Virgos. They really be latching onto Virgos in my experience. Libras do. But we are like the total opposite to them. They be, they be trying to be Virgos, low key. But, but, but they're not like us at all. They're way too wishy-washy. If a, a Virgo is very confident in their opinions and confident in stating and picking a side in their opinions, they don't play no wishy-washy ass shit. For those who care so much about star signs, because I be hearing across the grapevine from my various uh, readers that, that these lot be reading up on, on the Virgo star sign to find out all about us and, and, and why we're so mean and why we're this and why we're so that. You guys know that. That's what they talk about, star signs. The reason I talk about it is because that's all they talk about. And my star sign would be really, actually, it, it, it has me down to an effing T. So I think there is something in it. I think there is something in it. Okay. So we will play along. Okay. So the conversation arose after the rapper retweeted a report about an incoming recession that's slated to hit in 2023. While addressing her insight into finance, the WAP hit maker question. Because somebody, somebody said, they didn't write why she questioned, why she said this, which I'll read in a second. Somebody said something like, oh, Cardi B paying attention to her finances. Oh, let's all get worried or something like that. Because she's known, because based on all the shit she buys, based on the fact that she tweeted that she didn't know what the hell was in her bank account, based on the fact that she calls everybody broke bitches, all right? It's clear that she has no clue really about how flimsy all this shit is. Uh, so someone has said that, uh, oh, Cardi taking, you know, Cardi for, uh, caring about her finances, let's be scared or something like that. Then she replied, according to, as this article has also stated, why is it far-fetched for me to know finance when I have a business, pay taxes and own stocks? you got to know about money to maintain it. Well, that's a nice change from saying that you didn't have a clue what was in your bank account, darling. Wishy-washy AF. You can't believe what this girl says, darling. And let's fly a plane. On that, she's she's a, she's as wishy washy as the wind, which is the element for her sign, darling. Fly that plane, So, Lil Kim is on Instagram Live. While addressing her insight into finance, the WAP hit maker question, why is it far-fetched for me to know finance when I have a business, pay taxes and own stocks? You've got to know about money to maintain it. The rapper also offered some insight into her plans for the future and sprinkled in some advice for anyone wanting financial independence. In Cardi's eyes, one positive thing money has brought her, what money has brought her is that my family, uh, whatever they want, they get. Everything, I, everything that I want to buy, I get. Well, that's not that's not good financial literacy, darling. And let's fly a plane on that. Wait a second, people. Fly that plane! Ah, wait, wait, the plane. Ooh, ooh, wait. We've got to, well, here we are. Fly that plane! Ah, that's not good financial literacy. Every single thing I buy, everything, every single thing I buy, for example, I analyze, I analyze that shit like it's a mathematical problem, which it is a mathematical problem for, for real, for real, isn't it? You can't just buy things. You have to analyze. Number one, I analyze if, it's, if it looks good enough for me to buy. Number two, do I need it? And what do I need it for? Number three, do I have other clothes or other things that, that I could wear instead instead of buying that? And so on and so forth. I'm not giving these lot no more insights. Before I buy anything, it goes through all that before I, I, I press the pay now button. Okay. And even if I become rich, I'm never going to stop wearing my affiliates, my high street affiliates. What I'll do is I'll just wear a nice bag or a nice pair of shoes with it or buy the odd, odd, the odd designer thing here and there. I will not just forget about my high street affiliates and just buy all designer. Never, never, ever, never fucking ever. Everything I buy gets analyzed, darling. Laser focus through it, darling. Okay. Everything that I want to buy, I can get. I don't have to worry so much about my future. 
She even revealed you heard what you heard what several people have said about about the music industry. I don't think I would be so confident. Okay, I don't think so. Um, mm, mm. Unfortunately, that's just my opinion based on the scene right now and what is being said. Uh, is that my everything that I want to buy? I can get. I don't have to worry so much about my future. And everybody in music really has to worry. They have to have 110 jobs to be able to afford their lifestyle to pay off those loans and pay off this and pay off that. You have to think about one day you will be you will be unable to have 110 jobs. I hope you're making the right investments to actual uh, businesses businesses that belong to you 100%, um, that are stable. Look, free financial advice, darling, and they call it hate, darling. A lot of these people haven't figured out how life works yet, so I'm gonna be keeping my mouth shut. Uh, and let me come out of the internet in case there's a lag going on with this article open. Apologies if there was a lag, people. Apologies. Um, she even revealed some of her some of her plans for the future. And much the delight of her fans, it includes more music. I really want to accomplish more records, more billboard hits, she confessed on the micro blogging platform. I might want to get into acting or designing clothes, but my real goal is to have beautiful kids, a beautiful mansion, and do business that makes me money until the day I die. You need to think about after you die, darling, as well, darling. Uh, then be able to pass it on to my children. Okay, so that's the mention there. Great, great, great. All right, then, fantastic. So that's what Cardi had to say about finances. So she's gone from saying that she doesn't know what is in her bank account uh, to, to all this sage wisdom, darling. And, it, and it's giving me, um, who are you copying and who are you listening to to, to, to get all these ideas, darling? And, and let's drop a bomb on that, darling. Wait for it. <laughs> Let's see what next one to talk about. 